from NASCO and I'm going to show you today the uh, Advanced All Cleaner. It's part of the Touch Free Restroom Cleaning Program that's going to go into effect. Um, what this particular unit has is got two solution tanks that are 20 gallon. It's a pressure washer that has a 400 psi uh, uh, pressure on it. It can be used for applying solution as well as rinsing it back off. Um, in addition to that, what this unit also does do is has two spaces for onboard chemicals and the chemical, you can use whatever chemical you want to use. In this particular case, we're going to use the foamy Q&A and a, uh, a disinfectant. And just to kind of give you a little bit of uh, idea here, the metering tip for the unit goes right into the bottom of this particular cap and that fits right onto the uh, your chemical. So now you'll be able to uh, draw your chemical and then also switch over and draw your uh, uh, disinfectant. So it gives you the opportunity to do that. In addition, what it also gives you is a floor squeegee to pick up your, uh, your, your solution. You also do get a uh, deck brush for scrubbing your uh, floors, your showers. And then also you do need to the unit a squeegee so you can squeegee down any vertical surfaces, uh, bathroom partitions, your ceramic uh, walls. And it uh, comes with a uh, 25 foot solution and 25 foot recovery hole. So if you're in kind of a smaller area, you can kind of park this at the beginning of the entrance to your bathroom and then take everything in and uh, uh, just use the hose and everything to clean with it. Okay, so to set this unit up to, to use, right here is the cap for your clean water. And again, it's a 20 gallon capacity and you fill your clean water right in here. This right here is your recovery tank. And that's your lid that stays right on top of there. Um, to set the unit up for usage for Chemicals, like we talked about, I'll flip this around. Um, we're using foamy Q&A as a cleaner to uh, clean our uh, restrooms. And the dilution ratio on that is a, uh, basically a three ounce per gallon. And so inside here is a little bit of tip. You get a packet of tips with the unit. And um, inside there, you uh, place that little tip. The package of tips that come with the uh, unit are right here and they are color coded and they are labeled as to the proper dilution. Anything from one ounce per gallon, per gallon up to uh, one to 15 or 20 ounces per gallon. In this particular case, I'm going to, for this product right here, I am uh, disinfecting, I'm going to put in a one ounce per gallon tip. And that's this tip right here. And it fits right here. Slides back down into here. Then you slide it into your chemical bottle and then you thread it on. So now both our chemical and our uh, uh, disinfectant are ready to use. Um, let me swing this around and I'll show you the controls on it. Um, you do have a, uh, a 15 foot cord with a GFI on it, GFCI on it, for use in wet purposes. Um, very simple controls on it. Um, you've got, this turns the pump on, this turns the back on, and this is doing your chemical flow. So straight down is water only. If you turn it this way, you're drawing from this side, which is your cleaner, and if you're doing this side, it draws from that side, which is your disinfectant. Hello, good morning, my name is Maverick and we are here to show you a video on how to do proper bathroom cleaning. First, you make sure you have your gloves, your safety goggles, make sure you're prepped and ready for the work. Put your face masks on and you begin. Okay, now I'm gonna prep for a restroom disinfectant. First, I'm gonna put down my wet floor sign. I'm gonna go in, take out all trash and debris laying on the floor by taking your dust mop and you go in 
and you start sweeping. After dust mopping, I'm gonna replenish supplies, paper towel, tissue, soap. Now that we're all set up to actually clean the bathrooms, I'm gonna take my mask off just for this demonstration purposes and kind of go over what you would do, the procedure for actually um, cleaning your uh, restroom, your urinals, hosing it down. And what we have right now is a setup to draw out of the cleaning chemical on that side that's right there. So what we do is we turn the pump on. The pump has two settings. There's a low flow, which actually draws the chemical, and then there's a high flow, which actually rinses the chemical. What you do first is you put it on the low flow, and then you cover all your areas. So now you're applying the chemical. It smells nice. Now that we've sprayed the chemical uh, with the low pressure of the, the, the unit on the, the urinal on the floor, Maverick is going to scrub the uh, tiles around the urinals to remove any debris that may be down there. Now that we applied the chemical and did the scrubbing, um, it is time to rinse this all off. And in order to do that, uh, two ways you can do it. Number one is you can take this, turn the chemical off to just the water, or when it's on the high flow, we use the low flow for the, the solution. Now it's on the high flow, it will not draw any of the solution out of there either. So what you do, we'll, we'll move it down there. We'll turn it on. So now, High flow. And you can rinse and you can also fan it out. You can use it for glass corners. that debris that we kind of loosened out of there. Now that we have applied the chemical, we scrubbed it down, we rinse it, we are going to take the excess water off the floor. You want to turn your vacuum on? Okay, always remember when you're cleaning the restroom, you work from the furthest point back. I already done the restroom. I'm doing the urinal and you can also do the sink also with this machine and then you're gonna suck up the excess water and work your way out. Now that we've finished cleaning our restrooms, it's time to clean the machine. And the first thing you should do is, there's a recovery tank right there, you need to drain the recovery tank. Let me take my mask off. You need to drain the recovery tank, and here's the drain hose for that tank. And now we rinse off the recovery tank, pretty much like you do on all your scrubbers and all your carpet cleaners. Now that we've drained the recovery tank, uh, again, like all your other scrubbers and everything, you want to make sure you store it with the lid off so it air dries. One thing I will show you on this, because you do have a piston pump, when you're done cleaning, take your, take your wand and just burp it to release any pressure on it. Otherwise, if you take your hose off, the quick disconnect, you're going to have a hard time getting it hooked back up. So just make sure you release the pressure. And then 
And last but not least, what we should do for the normal cleanup is you've got your chemical on this side. We're not running a disinfectant on this particular side, so just a gallon jug of plain water. We move this over here like this. We're going to purge the chemical line with just clean water so none of that gets hardened in there and then it won't draw any chemical. And to do that, you plug the unit in, you move the chemical lever to that particular size, and now what we'll do is we'll turn the unit back on. We'll put it on the low. For daily cleaning after regular use, that's the process you use. There is also another long-term process that you can use if the unit is going to sit for a long period of time without being used or uh, a few weeks anyway. Underneath the unit, there is a cap that comes off that will drain the, all the water out of the clean water tank. And then if you're, it's going to be a while, do that and then replace the cap.